All right, guys. This license plate, I'll show you a little bit of a trick here. Lay your plate down. Anything you're going to be working on, just draw a rough shape around it on your board wherever you're going to be working. Okay. I know where that's at, and I'm going to be uh, that far in. I'm just drawing marker lines out straight from, guidelines out straight from where the ridges around this plate. Now I know I can come in here. Roughly that far in. Okay, what I'm gonna do here, I've got some little one inch long brands. That's all they are. Can I drop them? Just one inch is long, one inch long. Now I'm going to take and just drive these in here. On my line. Just enough so they stand up. All they're going to do is hold the weight of the license plate. Okay guys, now when I'm ready to paint this, I'll stand it on those brads. The reason I do that is because I'm going to paint the back side first. I don't want to hang it up and paint it. I want to be able to lay this down. When I paint the, the face surface, I want to get a good heavy layer of paint on it that'll flow out real nice and smooth and flat. So I don't want it hanging up. Then I want to paint it all at the same time once I have paint in my gun. I don't want to have to paint the back side and let it dry and turn it over and worry about overspray getting on it and paint the front side. So I'll paint the back side first, then I'll flip it over, lay it down on the brads, on the wet paint, I'll paint the face side. The back side is secondary. I may have four little very minute marks from my brads that I can just touch up. This is an old painter's trick. Uh, Many times when guys paint objects like this, they'll drive little brands in to hold whatever they're painting. So there you go guys. A little tip of the day on that. I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing scuffed and ready for paint. Alright guys. There you go. This much I'm gonna sand and prep. This is in uh 220, 320, and I ran some 600 over it. Just dry. We're ready to go. Plate looks nice and flat now. I said it was bent right here between the Ohio 66 and the numbers. It was bent and folded back under at one time. So, a lot of hammer dolly. I think it come out pretty good. I'm gonna get ready to mix up some color for it. All right, I'll bring it back, we're ready to go. That's where the guys talk about my exhaust fan and what I do. Sign Painter's One Shot. In this case, it's 104 out bright red. This is a straight enamel paint. You thin this paint with mineral spirits. It's a very high solid content paint. Probably the highest solid paint that I'm aware of. Just take a little cup here and heavy this 
hand. Every time I would dip out like this, I hate to pour up and mess up the sides of the can, so. All right, pick this up in a second. We get this fun. All right, we're back. I like to reduce it down just a little bit. Splash them in all spirits. Just enough to make a spray of it. It's a heavy. Dish. Hard to mix it in. So the one shot paint is the side painter's favorite. There's cheaper brands out there, but this is a case where I have to say the more expensive paint is the way to go.
Alright guys, here we are. In paint, it's still wet. It's good. Nice and glassy. Next, now of course, the letter, and I say that's done in point one shot, and that'll be done by hand with assortment of brushes. I'll show you that as I'm doing it too. But right now, I'm waiting for lunch. We'll be back.